Hello everybody and welcome to our show. We are going to show you a lot of cool new things that we've built. We had this request for so many uh, different creators uh, that assigning guests uh, to specific scenes was very important to them. The scenes itself add some automation and uh, we experience this pain ourselves. So when we every time that we try to run a live stream, uh, we still need to toggle and untoggle uh, ourselves. So when Anya needs to present or me and or where we need both to be on uh, on a layout at the same time. Yeah, super helpful for one of the use cases that you will see in the end of this stream. Actually, when we might invite some extra people, it really helps to not worry about like toggling them all at the same time and simply transition to the next scene and have them exactly at the spots where we want them to be. So one of the kind of visual improvements of Studio that we're introducing today is the dark mode. So we did change the overall colors in Restream Studio, so they should look a little bit more polished and posh. And um, mostly it is kind of like dark gray, blackish theme within the product interface. The main focus is the preview itself. So how you are going to look uh, in front of your audience. And we try to hide these distractions by like changing colors, trying to find the right harmony. We would love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, I know that there were comments and requests for the dark mode. So we basically make the whole studio dark for everybody. For me personally, one of my first impressions of the dark studio is that it looks a lot more professional. And when I create things with a little bit more color, just like our background, there's a little bit of orange here, it pops really nicely. The next update is also something that we received a lot of requests Four, and uh, simply put, uh, we call it animated overlays. You can add GIFs and videos, MP, MP4 videos, as well as other video types with transparent backgrounds to overlay on top of your camera to add a little bit of fun, to add a little bit of motion. And there are a lot of all kinds of fun things you can do. For example, it can get rained on or not rained on. Uh, we have confettis. Um, so those are some of the built-in uh, examples that you can play with sparkles. Uh, but the most important part is that you can upload your own. Uh, the next thing I would love to share today is the name tags. The beautiful part here is that with uh, our new customized button, you can show the name tags, just like this one, on one scene and hide them on the other. And by having option to remove it, from certain scenes, it's just more convenient because prior, like if you want to toggle names off, they've been toggled um, across all scenes and it's been quite annoying. So <laughs> let's be honest here. And uh, it's a nice improvement and gives more flexibility. And uh, we hope that our creators will appreciate it and uh, will produce even more professional content. One of the features that a lot of our customers enjoy is adding additional camera or additional angle. Depending on what you do, this could be something that you would point at your guest. If you're doing like a podcast style show, it could be something that you can point at your desk. So extra cameras are excellent. It's just additional way to present your content. Uh, but now extra cameras got a few really cool additions. Number one is now they stick to the scene. So for example, if you want your extra camera on one scene, when you are actually unboxing or showing something with your hands on your desk, uh, you can have it there, but it can then disappear on the scene when you are just talking or taking questions and comments from the chat. And another really cool thing is that cameras now come with its own audio. So any extra camera can come with its own sound and microphone, which uh, it, there are multiple different uh, use cases for that. Let's go ahead and move on because Countdown's got a few upgrades. They now auto switch from the countdown scene to your next scene when you're actually presenting. You can also resize them in the freehand mode and you can move them anywhere on your screen or on your scene canvas. So play with that. Let us know um, how, how that works for you. But we're very excited about this kind of small but mighty uh, addition to giving you more controls over how your streams look. One last uh, thing that we wanted to share with you is the new Air theme. The new theme Air is now available for captions, scrolling tickers, questions, uh, and name tags. So, so basically in, in the design section, you can find this Air theme and you can um, adjust it for, and you can also adjust the font, but they work on any background. Like so he, uh, Alex's background is a little bit darker, 
Mine is a little lighter, but with the shadows that we have there, it you actually see? works. You see? Yeah, even you, on the you white can background. See them like yeah. This. yeah, you can still read it. Absolutely. My last part of this stream before we turn back to questions and introduce a few very cool people uh, that will be joining us today is a little teaser. So this is something that is not live yet as of today, but it is coming very soon. This is a super anticipated feature that we've been asked about for at least a year by all kinds of creators. And drum roll, come back <laughs> to us, Alex. I, no, I just, wanted to do, I just wanted to turn around, but like I realized that Let's the wall is around. so close, I cannot do the it. The wall is too close. <laughs> so I, I could hit myself. <laughs> But the wall is not too close for people who are recording in Restream Studio because you can record locally in addition to recording in the cloud that has been available for as long as Restream existed. So this means that your, your shows, your events, your interviews and podcasts can now get recorded locally on your machines, on your computer, as well as on the machines of your guests and other participants. Uh, local recording means just better quality. So you're not dependent on the internet connection and like little browser uh, you know, situations and glitches. So everything records directly on your, on your device. And uh, that also means that if you have a 4K camera, uh, that, that allows you to actually record in the full quality without uh, browser limitations. That is coming soon. It's not ready yet, but this is what we're working on today. So we're looking forward to that. Stay tuned for when we announce it. Uh, but we actually don't have to wait for too long to welcome the developers and the product team behind Studio. We have Alex here from uh, his head of product. We have Sergio, who is studio Pressing. engineer. And we have Matt, who is actually uh, the lead product for local recordings. And he also worked on the pin sources. So we have Steven here. He's asking a pause and restart would be great as well. I imagine like Stefan is talking about the record only mode uh, in Studio. So with Studio, you can, of course, live stream, but you can also not go live and still record. That's already available today. You can pause the recording. You can restart it, resume the usual. But with local recordings, that will, of course, work out of the box as well. So stay tuned for that. Our next question is from James. He's saying he's asking, can the host adjust camera framing in studio? So the, the answer, it depends. Uh, in some layouts, thanks to uh, our layout customization, actually, it's already possible. So if you pick a layout like picture in picture and you put yourself on the main spot, uh, you already can zoom in, zoom out, uh, move yourself around. So it's uh, kind of type of framing. Uh, but we also have plans to do it like uh, to give an opportunity to do it like with any camera on any layout. So, uh, so eventually it will be possible. Can we add the scene layout in preview mode? Essentially, do it while live, but not so that the audience sees the adjustment. I actually love this question because I definitely feel that pain. Very nice question. We have this in our roadmap, and uh, it's something we plan to start working uh, this year. If you want, you can drop us a DM and we will include you in the first wave for testing. The realistic uh, estimation is like beginning of the next year. In this particular uh, question from the user, uh, we see uh, a request about putting chat as an overlay on top, or if I'm not mistaken. If you're talking about just uh, refreshing the look of the chat, which uh, currently we have, it's uh, definitely coming uh, this month. If you're talking about customization with the ability to uh, drag around and stuff like that, we have this in our roadmap for this year and we will be like trying our best to like finish until the end of the year. All right, so thanks again. Yeah, and let's celebrate.